Spire version 3.9 has been released with a new email module, quote expiry handling, updates to bank account reconciliation, and more. A new email module is available in Spire 3.9, with benefits such as being able to see and edit emails before sending them, send emails without the requirement of report attachment, better security, and a history of sent emails that you can look up and resend if required. To create a new email using the editor, highlight a record of interest in the grid, and click the Email button in the toolbar of any application that supports it. You can still use the Print button to select a report and then email it as in previous Spire versions, but now you can also create the email first and then determine any attachments if desired. When the email screen is open, you can select an individual address to send to from any available contact email, or you can enter the email address manually. You can do the same in separate CC and BCC sections for addresses, and also set a subject for the recipients. There are multiple ways to include file attachments. One way is by using the Attach File button that allows browsing for a file of any allowed type. Or you can also attach by dragging the file and dropping it onto the email. The Attach Report button allows you to select a report and generate it based on the customer or other record highlighted in the grid. The body of the email can be entered from scratch, or you can select a template in order to include predefined text along with the subject, including with formatting. You could send a plain text email, but you can also use rich text for all the formatting you would expect to be available when emailing. The raw HTML can be used to create a rich text layout and allow you to do extra things, such as include an image in the email body. Hyperlinks can also be included in the email body, such as for a web page, or a tracking link for a shipment when emailing a sales order. In both template setup and new emails, you can insert a parameter to include database information, translated when the email is saved or sent. A change new in 3.9 is that the database fields are now organized better rather than one huge list to help you find the field information you need. Send the email now or save it to send it at a later time. You also have the ability to create multiple emails at a time, make specific changes to individual emails, and even save them to a queue to send later. You can do this by multi-selecting records from the grid and click the Email button in the toolbar. As before, a new email screen appears, but when multiple records are selected, different functionality occurs. You start on a template tab to determine the email subject and body, which could be loaded from a template. When choosing the Send To recipient, instead of a specific address, you can select a group name that will load the respective address for that name from that contact of each selected customer record. The Attach Report button allows you to select a report to generate for each record selected, which may take a few moments, depending on the number of records selected. After generation, each email is listed on the Messages tab as a batch, either ready to send now or save as a batch of emails to send later. And even though all emails here were generated using the same template, you can edit any of these and make changes to customize the contents, which in turn marks the email as having been edited before, and any changes to the template will not affect edited emails. On the left side is an email module list that allows you to see the list of emails that either have already been sent or have been saved and are waiting to be sent. If a group of emails were generated at once to send, you can see each group on the Batches tab to access emails as a group rather than individually. Because you are looking at the list dedicated to emails, 
It is interesting, while editing an email, for a sales order perhaps, to be able to use the Open Related button to look at either the sales order or the customer on the order. When editing a record that supports emails, the Communications tab not only shows the list of notes saved as alerts or reminders, but also a list of all emails generated and sent to them. From here, you can view what has been sent in the past and even resend an email with no edits or additions. There is also a new Create Email button, separate from the Create Note button, in order to create an email associated with this record or transaction, with everything except the Attach Report function. Note that on Customer and Vendor Records, there is a new Communications tab where emails in addition to notes can be seen and edited. This tab takes the place of Communications for the billing address, where the sub-tab is no longer active. A change has been made in sales orders on the main screen to accommodate email contacts. In previous Spire versions, the order contact was displayed below the shipping information. Now there are separate contacts for both the buyer and the shipping receiver, each with respective phone and email information for quick reference and for more flexibility in selection when emailing forms to recipients. Company settings have selections for the default buyer and receiver group so that when new orders are created and the customer selected, the contacts are immediately populated. A different contact from the customer can be selected, or you can enter a new contact in an information not already on the customer. When a ship to code is selected to have a different shipping address, the contacts from that address are used instead. The email setup can now be configured in the Spire Server Administrator, in addition to Company Settings, or for each user. SMTP setup used in the past is now available in the Integrations area. And you can also choose to use a connection to SendGrid, an integration service that manages sending emails in larger volumes more efficiently, gives a simpler credential setup for all users, and provides analytics for success and usage. Also, there are new user settings that provide security access to the email module for creating, editing, deleting, or sending emails, should you require to give users different rights to emailing. In previous versions of Spire, you could enter quote transactions in the sales module, but they would never expire, which could cause clutter in the sales list for quotes that were no longer valid. Now, there is a quote expiry field available to allow for better quote handling. When you create a new quote, the quote expires date field can be found in the order details area of the main tab. Enter a date for when the quote will no longer be valid. You can choose to default this as the blank value and enter what you need, only for those quotes that have expiry, or in the company settings, you can choose to calculate a number of days after the quote date to calculate the quote expiry. Now when you create a new quote, the expires field has the calculated date. The default expiry date can always be changed on the quote. Note that if you edit the quote date, this will not recalculate the expiry date. If you edit a saved quote that is past expiry, a warning at the top of the screen indicates this. Some changes have been made to the reconciliation process for bank GL accounts to make it easier to match transactions that are imported and see where they match. Previously, the date for imported bank transactions had to be within three days of the Spire transaction in order to be matched. This could prevent legitimate matching of transactions as it can often take more than three days for a transaction to be processed and cleared through the bank. Now the date range is within 14 days to give more time for clearing the bank. When a bank transaction gets matched, it is now more obvious visually with the matched Spire transactions display in a lighter font color and with the bank information displayed next to them.
if you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.